She's run 416 so far for 1500 outdoors and 202 in the 800. I expect this race to play in her favor today. I think it's an advantage for the women here on the track, the fact that they got to see the men's race and the kind of the way that it unfolded because I would assume with a win today, you might have a similar strategy. Absolutely, and a lot of these women are coming back and will run in possibly the 5K or even in the 800 meters later on this afternoon. We can see Catherine Receiver, the sophomore from Indiana. She'll be in the 5K later today. She's not leaving it up to chance. She knows that there's a lot of really good kickers in this race, so it seems to me that she's not afraid to go to the front. Yeah, Receiver, she's an incredible story. She's made so many strides over the last two years just to be here. Receiver, from a Indiana, kidney infection to mono, it's been hard work for her just to get healthy and back on the track two years ago she struggled to run a 555 mile at home and then she's second at the cross country championships in the fall and obviously now really starting to find her groove and make her way back on the track and right now she's leading early on oh she's absolutely found it she's dropped over a minute and a half in the 5,000 meters in the last year and a half alone that's impressive for someone to do in their lifetime let alone in that short span of a time Ellen Stratabo is currently running second. We saw her win the steeplechase earlier. She won the mile indoors at the Big Ten Championship as well as finishing six in the 3,000 meter. She's a Big Ten Distinguished Scholar, majoring in marketing and Mandarin Chinese. And you know, you think about these athletes, this is some of the toughest cookies that are at this entire championship with all the races, all the yardage that they're gonna log over the three-day period. It's really incredible to think about. It is incredible. Strandamo, she took the steeplechase last night. She ran a 1,500-meter prelim. She's in the final. We might see her back in the 5K. That's a lot of lap for one athlete, but when your team is in contention to the title, they'll do anything that takes. Penn State Nitty Lions, Rivers moving up. She's currently running second. Julie Kukchanik, the senior, wearing number 12, currently running third. But right now, Catherine Receiver, obviously a lot of confidence from the cross-country season carrying over. You know that she's got the kick also moving up. You see Healy Mayer, the junior from Michigan, trying to push up to the outside. The women went through 800 meters in a split of about 224, which is not super slow, but it's not terribly too fast. It's well within the range of all of these women in this field. But we can see Danae Rivers starting to slowly come up on the shoulder of Catherine Receivers. Think for someone who has a PR of 202, 224 feels very comfortable. Receiver, the leader, as you head towards the final stretch. And the pack just really trying to find their way around. We saw how quick in the men's race, the race can change in a blink of an eye. Just about when they decide to try to find that final gear. And you see how much these athletes want to be a part of it. Jamie Phelan, the junior from Michigan, she's coming way to the outside to get in front. Phelan taking the lead with a lap to go. She was an All-American. She was eighth place at the NCAA Championships in this event. She deserves to be at the front of this race, trying to bring home some points for the Wolverines. Michigan, they're running one, two. The freshman Rivers trying to move up on the outside for Penn State. This is setting up to be a fantastic finish in the women's 1500 meters. Feeling the Big Ten champion in the distance penalty relay. She was eighth a year ago in this event at the NCAA championships. It looks like it's gonna be Phelan and Rivers on the final turn, and Receiver's trying to join the party as well as she's trying to kick it into full gear. Phelan trying to hold off Rivers down the final stretch. The freshman trying to move up, but it's gonna be the junior from Michigan that's gonna win the Big Ten Championship. And Receiver's will finish third overall. 